Hello everyone. Today, another typical um, uh, epi calculus problems involving slope field and uh, separable differential equations. So the first question is on about making a slope field. Okay. So what I like to do is make a little table. So I'm going to have x, y, dy over dx. To keep uh, organized, you know. And so, what do we have for x? The values of x are zeros and two. So we're going to have zero, 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 and two, two, two. And for y, we're going to have zero, one, two, and zero, one, two. So we see that way that we have essentially six points and six slopes to calculate. Okay, so when x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 0, huh, we know that dy over dx is equal to y squared over x minus 1, then the slope will be equal to 0. Uh, you replace uh, x in here by 0 and y in here by 0. Then we're going to replace x by 0 and y by 1. Okay, so 1 squared over negative 1 is negative 1. Then we're going to replace x by 0. So you're going to have negative 4 right here. Then we're going to move on and replace x by 2 and y by 0. So we're going to have 0. Then we're going to have 1 over 2 minus 1, 1. And then 4 right here. Okay. So essentially for the slope, if I go on my graph here, I'm going to have an horizontal slope right here. I'm going to have an horizontal slope right here. At 0, 1, I'm going to have a slope equal to negative 1. And at 0, 2, I'm going to have a slope equal to negative 4. At 2, 1, I'm going to have a slope equal to 1. And a slope equal to 4 right here. That's it. I'm done with my uh, slope field. Okay, so on the, gra on the axis provided, sketch a slope field. There you go. Part B. Let y equal f of x be the particular solution to the given differential equation with the initial condition f of 2 is equal to 3. Write an equation of the line tangent to the graph at x equal 2 and use that to find 2.1. Okay. So we're going to always, when we have to find the equation of a line, we're going to start with a point slope form. Okay. So it's going to be y minus f x x0 equal dy over dx at x sub 0 y sub 0 times x minus x sub 0. And since the function might not be explicit, we might want to write it like this instead. Okay? And so we're going to do that at the point of coordinate 2, 3. That means that x sub 0 or x naught is 2 and y naught is 3. Okay, so if we put everything together right here, we also need to calculate dy over dx at x naught y naught, which is going to be equal to y naught square over x naught minus 1. So it's going to be 3 square over 2 minus 1. So it's going to be equal to 9. Okay, so now we just need to put everything together right here, and you're going to have y minus 3 equal 9 times x minus 2, or y equal 9x minus 18 plus 3 minus 15. Okay, so that's the equation of the line, but that's not the question. Huh? That's just a, a result that we need right here. What is the question? Well, use this to approximate uh, y uh, when x is equal to 2.1. So we're going to calculate f at 2.1, which is going to be 9 times 2.1 minus 15. So it's going to be 18.9 minus 15, 3.9. Okay? All right, now that is the answer right here. There you go. 
we are done with part B. So as you can tell, today is a very short video. Um, those uh, those slope field slash uh, differential equation problems, they are pretty much always the same. Okay. So the last question, find a particular solution uh, to the differential equation right there. So we know that we have dy over dx equal y square over x minus 1. The idea to solve this is to put all the x's on one side, all the y's on the other side. So you're going to have y exponent negative 2 dy equal x minus 1, sorry, 1 over x minus 1 dx. Okay. And then you're going to just integrate both sides. So on the left, what do we have? Well, we have the power rule. So negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1. So it's going to be negative y exponent negative 1. Okay. So negative 1 over y equal. And on the right, it's going to be ln of the absolute value of x minus 1 plus the constant of, uh, constant of integration c. Therefore, y is going to be equal to negative ln of uh, y is equal to negative 1 over ln of x minus 1 plus constant of integration. So now we have to calculate the constant of integration c. We know that the function goes to the point of colon 2 and 3. So what I mean, what it means is that I'm going to replace y by 3. x by 2, and I'm going to solve for c, right? So it's going to be 3 equal negative 1 over ln 1. ln 1 is 0, so c. Therefore, c is equal to negative 1 over 3, okay? Therefore, y equal f of x equal negative 1 over ln absolute value of x minus 1 minus 1 over 3. So that's it. We have our final answer for this problem. We could put a negative 3 over 3 ln x minus 1 minus 1, but I think that leaving it like this um, is good enough. Oops. And uh, we are not seeing it, so yeah, let me bring it up a bit. Okay. Let's work with love. There you go. And we are done with this problem. I hope it was helpful.